Gospel Kid Prop 1 World Championship 1,500 million gold in 2011, 2013 and 2015 Three-time world champion Aspel Kid Prop said he paid drug testers because he thought they wanted the money for fuel or tea. Kid Prop, who won 1,500 million gold at the 2008 Olympics in Beijing, tested positive for EPO out of competition in 2017. The 28-year-old Kenyan alleged his sample turned positive because he did not give the testers enough money. They didn't specify the amount, Kiprop told BBC Sport. It is rare for them to ask for money. To me, I could trust them. It didn't even come into my mind that I was in a sensitive position. Kiprop also said, he was visited by the same testers three times that week. He would frequently be asked by testers to go to their houses to give samples. He would always be forewarned he was going to be tested, which is against anti-doping rules. He has since texted the testers to ask why they no longer test him themselves and has received no reply. He almost wishes he had doped so that he could deal with the situation better. He believes dopers should serve a jail term in May. The Athletics Integrity Unit, AIU, Rejected claims his sample was tampered with and that testers had asked him for money. I could trust them what happened? Kiprop was tested on November 27, 2017 in Aiden, Kenya, having been told the previous night that doping control officers would be visiting. Although that is against protocol, Kiprop said he did not take it as something serious because it had happened before. The AIU said Kiprop's sample was not tampered with but said it is extremely disappointing he was given advance notice of the test. He alleges a doping control officer, one of two present, asked for money before he had given a urine sample. After supplying his sample, he left it unattended with the testers while he went to his bedroom to get his mobile phone through which he paid them via electronic transfer. I have never violated the anti-doping rules or tried to avoid the testers because I am sincere to myself and I support anti-doping, Kiprop said. I never even doubted myself. I was so confident about my sample. The minute I went into my room to send them the money, probably something happened there on the table to my urine sample. Suffering like a prisoner the reaction Kiprop, left, was upgraded to Olympic gold after Bahrain's Rashid Ramsey, Center, failed a drugs test Kiprop denies allegations of doping and said the last injection he had received was a yellow fever vaccination before the 2014 World Relays in the Bahamas. He said he saw the tester as a friend, adding they regularly exchanged text messages before tests, and transferred the money because it's normal for generosity. After being told on February 3, 2018 that he had failed the test. Kiprop said he texted the tester to ask why he had not visited to do any further tests since, but has never received a reply. Although Kiprop is still training, he said his morale has been killed and that he is suffering like a prisoner. Although he said he had received the support of Kenyan teammates and Olympic champions Vivian Kuriat and Eli Kipcoach, so the expression could be fitting, said Kiprop. It would have been better if I had indeed doped. I'm being put in the category of the dopers. Good people, athletes, my competitors and opponents, they think I have been racing with them and cheating. This thing has brought me down to zero. The truth will come out and it will clear my name, my image, and this sport as well. Dopers should serve a jail term. The future Kiprop, originally second in the 1500M final at the 2008 Olympics, was upgraded to gold when Bahrain's Rashid Ramsey failed a drugs test. He said he remains a fierce supporter of anti-doping and regrets leaving a sample unattended with the testers. I am repeating what I said in 2015-16 when I said that doping should be criminalized in Kenya, he said. Whoever is found guilty of committing a doping offense should not only be banned for four years but should also serve a jail term. I have always stood vocal in the fight against doping and I am still standing. I have not disgraced my fans. I have not disgraced the IOC. I have not disgraced the IAAF. I have not disgraced my father. I have not disgraced the people that made me who I am today and of course the sport in general.